gather around for a tale of a thrift store, a thrift store tale, a cautionary tale about thrifting. We all can use a dose of reality every now and then. So here's yours for the day. Amish country, that's not a good one. These are new racks. It's a slow day. I think these are already looked through, but there might be something I think is fun. It's the day after a snowstorm, so not much. Too bad that's too big. I'd wear that. Breckenridge, Colorado to sales. I'll hang that back up. Margaritaville. Northampton County. No grails. That's neat. That's probably from some local Cutstown, PA. Again, too bad it wasn't smaller. So I would love to come to the flea market. I would love to come to the thrift store and find something amazing every single day. But, you know, that's not always going to happen. More often than not, I think you're just going to have an average day. Eloquence, the spirit stronger than genius, faith greater than learning. Luther. A battery operated heated scarf? Well, that's missing. No Picassos here today. Can you imagine? <laughs> You find like a Picasso at the thrift store. I'm sure that has happened, that's for sure. Let's check out this thing over here. Oh man. That is that's fancy. Oh, it even comes even comes with the skirt. Wow. <laughs> I'm not buying that, but it's fun. These are like the women's velour suits. Track suit. Look at that wondrous thing. These are amazing. This would be great for an 80s photo shoot. I do love the 80s. I'm kind of sporting an 80s shirt now. I found this in that clean out in Pennsylvania. Fortunately, I can fit it. If you need a two-piece suit, come here. What is this? Oh my gosh, I want to wear this. <laughs> this is this is wondrous too. Look at that. All these great suits, like, too bad I can't make them popular again. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's pajama. That'll keep you warm. Oftentimes what you'll find at the end of the rack, things kind of don't belong. And that's because other shoppers, it's, you know, they were going to buy them. Maybe other vintage people and then looked them up and then just threw them back. Because it wasn't their taste. They wouldn't get enough money for it, so. That's why you'll see a lot of things that don't belong at the end of racks. Or it's not that um, same style of clothing. You have all sorts of skirts. So 
a slow day. I don't know if we'll find anything. And sometimes it happens like that. Look at that beauty. Hawaii. Vintage Hawaii shirts still do really well. Tiki always has its following. Oh, well, I guess someone wanted some clothes. So, this section is still looking sparse. It's funny how sometimes there's like a, a lull in a certain area and then within just a matter of a day, this can be filled up. It all depends on what's donated. I think all these books have been here for about a couple months. What is this? Four hundred twenty-nine great gifts to make, from ten cents to ten dollars. Oh, look at that! I can't sew any of these things. I need something easy here. These look complicated. <laughs> Rainbow picture frames, bunnies, oh boy. All sorts of stuff. Oh, what is that? Look at those Christmas cookies. Oh, and a box made of a cookie. Just for fun, let's look this up. Because you never know. No barcode. All right. Let's see what we have. So we have family circle. Not family, family, circle. Let's just look at 429 great gifts. Whoops. There it is, $15, $5. So there's, there's plenty of them out there. We'll pass on that. fun to see what they thought of as gifts though. You often see those a lot too. Back you go. What did I buy at the thrift store? Absolutely nothing. And that is the reality of thrifting. That is the truth about thrifting. I find there are times when I could go to a thrift store multiple times a week, even different thrift stores, and I come back empty handed. The shelves aren't full of glorious vintage goods. Nothing has really been restocked or I've come at the wrong time and completely missed out on something great. But that is what happens. I think often in the world of reselling combined with YouTube, obviously viewers want to see the amazing things that we find at thrift stores. They want to see those grails, they want to see the vintage goodness that we come across for amazing prices, but the reality is sometimes it doesn't happen. And I really, really, really dislike having to, or feeling that I have to buy things just to have something to show you all at the end of a video. Because if my heart isn't in it, if I don't like the item, if I don't think that it's worthy enough for me to resell, I really don't want to buy it the $5, $7 that I can make off of it is, it, is it worth it? Sure, money is money. But again, if I'm buying things just to have stuff to show you all at the end of the video, am I being really true to reselling? Am I being true to myself? Am I filling my house with stuff that I don't really want to sell, but I bought it just to show you the tchotchke that I found for $2 that I'll sell for seven? Not really. And plus, in the world of thrifting, you all that do not have a YouTube channel, that go out to the thrift stores day after day after day, I'm sure that you can agree with me that some days you walk away buying nothing. Some days you get excited, you get so, you're like, this is gonna be the day. I'm gonna find something amazing at the thrift store. And within 10 minutes you leave. And so you go back the next day and you see everything that was on the shelf the day before. So you give it a little break and you go back maybe four days later and you see everything that was on the shelf 
you know, the, the five days before you. It happens. And that is the reality of thrifting. And I'm reminded of that very often. There are many times that I go out to the thrift store with my camera and I record and I find nothing. And so I delete that footage. I don't show it because again, viewers, they want to see something exciting, but I think, you know, there has to be the reminder that just because we are resellers on YouTube doesn't mean that every time we go out, we find something great because we don't, we don't. Though those 80s suits were pretty neat. <laughs> I kind of regret not buying that blue one because I think I could have, I could have, I could have looked pretty nice in it. And if I wore that to an auction, maybe that could have been a little intimidating to people. You know, like who's this, who's this gal in this hideous blue 80s suit? What's she buying? <laughs> Darn it. Maybe it'll be there when I go back. Maybe we'll be lucky enough that no one else will want it because if it's there, I think I'm going to buy it. Maybe I could do like an 80s, an 80s themed thrifting day. 80s toys, that'd be great. You know, this thrift store isn't a bad thrift store. Their prices are very, very reasonable. I, I do enjoy shopping there. The employees are nice. All the other thrifters that go there are very nice. Some days you find great stuff. Other days, you know, you have the 10 cents to $10 book for, from Good Housekeeping. It's just not doing it for you. And that happens to everyone. But we need to remember that, yes, there are bad thrifting days. YouTube shows the amazing, awesome thrifting days. And I'm going to be the Debbie Downer that says that does not happen all the time. <laughs> but we need to remember that because then the days when we are thrifting and we find some great stuff, they're even, you know, they're even better or they're even sweeter as the saying goes. Some days are good thrifting days. Some days are bad thrifting days. Some YouTube thrifting videos are amazing. And some YouTube thrifting videos just show you what an average thrifting day could be like. But again, we need to remember that everything will work out in the end. And one day you will walk into that thrift store, go back to that toy section, and there are all these great 80s toys just waiting to be purchased. Or you go to the glassware and there are house goods and there is this great Pyrex nesting bowl set that you've been wanting to complete your own collection. Or perhaps for me, I'll go to the bins and I'll find an amazing postcard album just waiting for me. <laughs> because reality of thrifting, not all days are good thrifting days and that is okay. Don't be disheartened by all the amazing things that you see resellers find and they put in their YouTube videos. Because I can assure you there are days when they come back empty handed or they come back with just a few items, not cartfuls. I still have yet to find a cart full at a thrift store. The bins, the bins, the bins are where I have to go. Maybe I'll get a cart full there. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't a flash, boom, bang, look at all of this thrifting video, but I thought I needed to just reassure you all that we have our bad thrifting days, but good thrifting days are on the horizon. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more adventures. Hopefully some really good at thrifting adventures with paper and moose. I'm hoping to get out to the bins. The weather just really has to cooperate. It currently is snowing again here. <laughs> What's a few more inches when, you know, we've had like three feet of snow. Does it really matter at this point? <laughs> so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more adventures here at paper and moose and be sure to subscribe if you have not. I'll see you all next time.